My name's Don Frazier. I've been watching documentaries on gangs all day, and I think I've got a really good idea, and I think I'm going to start my own gang. We're going to be called the Camos, or the We Can't Be Seen crew, or something like that. You know, some of our members call us the Flages. You know, yo, mother, or we're the Flages. <laughs> you know what I mean? We get down and dirty. We, you know, we, man, we sell drugs and uh, sell protection, and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a great, uh, it's a great way to make friends. So, in Cuna, Idaho, I've decided to start a new gang called the Camels. Uh, you know, indicative of our wear, the camel fly. So, you know, if a blood or a crip comes in the Cuna, Idaho, I'll tell you what, mister, you're going to be dealing with some sh You know what I mean? <laughs> you better not cross the camels. Uh, so far, I've got uh, a janitor I work with at the school. Um, well, we're still working on getting more members together. Uh, I've got my dog. And he's half black. <laughs> kind of makes him sort of, you know, you know. He understands getting down with the lingo. You know what I mean, mother? <laughs> yeah. You know? So anyway, we're the camels, and don't you don't you cross us, you know, homie. Born in the, the south side of Kamei, Idaho. You know, rough, rough neighborhood. You know, and there's just no avoiding gang life in a place like that. You know. Ah. Uh, You know what I mean, man? You did what you you did what you had to to survive, man. You know what I mean? You hung with your homies because they always they always had your they always had your back. I mean, your back. That it's your back, right? Yeah, because you know your your homies would have your back in a place like Kamei. You know, so that was they were like family to you. You know, I had a really rough upbringing. You know, uh, my mom and dad they were just you know out of control. You know, they'd make me do my homework and. And make me be in by nine o'clock, and it was awful. So I turned to gang life to find a family that I, I never really had. Is what happened. So you're gonna follow me through my life as a gangster, okay? Uh, first thing on the list, I gotta go to the chiropractor. Uh, gangsters have to use chiropractors too. Uh, this is these are the mean streets right here of Cuna, Cuna, Idaho. Uh, you know, hanging out over by the Leshwab. You know. They respect me. They're scared of me at the last while. They know this is gang country over here. You don't cross the street over into camo territory. Wouldn't think of it for a minute. Nope. Ah, uh, you can see we keep the streets pretty clean around here. It's camo territory, you know. You know, they're not going to have some crips from Melba coming over here and trying to stir up trouble and act like they own our streets. Because I'll tell you what, uh, you know, those, those crips or whoever in Melba, uh, they know they don't steer clear of uh, camo territory, you know. Uh, don't mess with the flosh. You know, that's a big saying around here. Don't mess with the flosh. You know? <laughs> yeah, mother. Uh, yeah. So, you know, yo, homies. I'm out here in front of a uh, can of chiropractic. Uh, it's really important, even if you're just kind of a bad boy gangsta type like I am, uh, to have proper spinal alignment. Uh, you know, when I'm out there fighting those gang wars and mixing it up with them boys from Melba, you know, it's important that my, my spine is aligned properly. Uh, there's no reason, even in a criminal empire like I overlord over, that you should have a back that's, that's not aligned properly. So it's just another aspect of the daily life of a gangster like myself. Um, so, you know. That's just a little advice to go around if you plan on being, you know, joining the gangsta life, as, as I like to call it, you know. Yo, you know, see, you know, the camels, uh, the camels you don't mess with. Why? Because their spines are in line, that's why.